Hi there everyone, this is um, Simon from Mactasia. We're going to take a look at um, Microsoft MDT 2013, um, which I'm going to be installing on Windows Server 2012. Um, so before you install MDT 2013, there's a few free, uh, prerequisites basically that you're going to have to chuck on. So as you can see here, I'm going through and adding .NET Framework 3.5. Uh, 4.5 is already on there really, um, standard, but you need the old ones as well. So I've just added in through the roles and features wizard there, I've ad added that in. Um, it's going to take a couple of minutes to install. So I'm running this on a VM workstation, VMware workstation. Um, it's probably why it's a bit slower than probably the server you're going to be using, unless you're also doing it on virtual workstation as well. I haven't allocated it a massive amount of RAM, but it's moving along. So this is just a freshly built Windows 2012 R2 server. Um, I'm going to be joining it to the domain a bit later on because uh, then we can also deploy our MDT via WDS which we'll also take a look at configuring as well. Might just speed this up because we might be here all day. Okay, so I've taken a quick nap and it seems to be moving along a bit now. So I think we're almost there. Oh, I don't think it's just my virtual machine. I think actually .NET Framework always takes ages to install. It's one of those things you're gonna have to wait it out. Okay, movement. Okay, so we got .NET Framework installed. Uh, we're going to move on now uh, to join this to the domain. So you don't have to you don't have to add yours into the domain, but you can leave it as a standalone if you really want to. Um, I would recommend adding it to the domain. Um, purely because I think it makes it all a bit more seamless with WDS and deploying and usernames and passwords and things like that makes it a lot easier. So I've gone ahead and I'm joining this to my pretendco.test domain controller that I You can also see I've got that running along the top there in the VM workstation um, console. It's just running in the background and so this um, MDT server which I've aptly named MDT is joining to that domain and of course in true Windows style it's going to require a restart so I'm going to go ahead and restart that okay so it's rebooted Oh no, sorry, I've, I switched switched over to my domain controller there just to show you that that was also running. It's rebooting the MDT server now. And then once it is rebooted, it will of course be part of that domain controller's um, domain, the pretendco.test. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and log back in to my MDT server.
And you see again, there's my DC. I'm just going to show you on my DC. Um, that it's all showing up in DHCP. Just checking that the machine showed up. It's got an IP from my domain. Uh, I like to check this really just because I'm running virtual network adapters. So we can see there it's got a lease. Good 10.0.0.6. Wunderbar. I'm also going to have a look and check this in DNS as well. Make sure it's created a DNS record, which is good. It has like MDT 10.0.0.6. Wonderful. So I've just mapped a share to another machine here to grab the files that I need. Um, Still yet before we install MDT, we need to install the Windows ADK kit. Um, so I've gone ahead and downloaded the files because there's about four gigabyte of files that it needs to download if you run the online off on, online installer. So I've kind of made it an offline installer. You can see that it needs 6.1 gigabytes of space. So this is a whiz through the standard ADK Toolkit. I've taken off application compatibility toolkit. Don't really think that we need it on there. So I'm going to keep everything else uh, USMT and volume activation management tools and everything else. Obviously, we need the Windows um, pre installation environment, Windows PE, and we'll keep the other bits and pieces as well. Six gig of space required. Um, this is going to take a fair while, fair while to install. It's going to take even longer if you have to download it for the install as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take another nap and fast forwards. Okay, so we're reaching the end of the um, installation for this now. So we can close the installer and we can move on to bigger and better things and maybe actually be able to install the um, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2013. Um, so I'm going to go um, back into my share. When my virtual machine starts responding again, obviously it's been left too long. Here we are, finally. So MDT 2013, obviously I'm a 64-bit server, so you've got the 32-bit installer there as well if you're running 32-bit. I think most people are probably running 64 so this is a quick installation. Um, just leave everything as standard. Obviously, you don't want to take part in any participation things, so leave those on no. So that's it. That's quick. MDT is fast and furious. So I'm going to go ahead and open um, our newly installed MDT. I'm going to pin it because you're going to need it. So pin it to your taskbar. So the deployment workbench is your new home for MDT. You're going to be doing a fair bit of work from here. <clears throat> At the moment, there's obviously not an awful lot in there because we need to uh, we need to create things. So you're going to right click on deployment shares and select new deployment share wizard. I'm going to leave um, the path as standard. C drive, obviously you could put it on a different partition, probably for the best. I'm going to leave everything as standard there, actually, and I'm going to uncheck whether to ask for anything, because we're going to control all of these um, later on in another screencast. So there we are, that's just whizzing through, and it's not going to, it doesn't take any time at all to create your um, default share. Uh, you can expand that and expand that, and you'll see that we've got lots of different options. Obviously, we're going to be able to import applications and operating systems and custom drivers and packages and things and task sequences. So we'll take a look at a few of these in the next part and some of them in future as well.